Welcome to Seals on the Move, I'm Alex Seals and Rosie Seals is along for the ride. We may be a little jittery today as we are taking you on a tour of It's Sugar at American Dream Mall in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This place could be described as a real-life Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. So let's get a move on with Seals on the Move. It's Sugar began in 2006 and considers themselves a retail tainer, in other words, a retail store that is also entertainment. There are 1,504,902 jelly bellies in this sculpture. Their mission is to provide a humorous escape from everyday life. There are over 100 locations in the United States. I'm not sure what Rubik's Cubes have to do with candy, but these plush ones are found around the store. Here's the part that looks like Wonka's factory. There don't appear to be any snozberries. You can buy smaller versions of this Choco Boulder. This one weighs 202 pounds and is made of milk chocolate. There's C-3PO with candy for a belly. A one, a two, a three. The trees look like Truffula trees from the Lorax. It's Wally the Warhead. The always disgusting Swedish fish. According to the Nerds Candy website, the pink nerds are curious, the green ones are humorous, and the purple ones like to think. Did you know there was a Sour Patch Kids cereal? It sounds ugh. I've said it before, the pink Starburst are the best in the original pack. Oh yeah! Now it's cotton candy. You don't think of cereal as candy, but it probably has more sugar than some candy bars. Speaking of which... We are actually approaching these backwards as this is Pop, Crackle, and Snap. There was a fourth one at one point named Pow. That's the Nickelodeon Universe indoor theme park over there. I haven't seen him in forever. Didn't hear a peep out of this one. Jelly Belly are the only jelly beans in my opinion. Airheads had a flavor called burnt rubber. Did it actually taste like its namesake? If you've had it before, let us know in the comments. These are those chocolate boulders. The normal size ones look pretty big themselves. $30,000? Thor randomly ended up with all the DC characters. I guess Goofy is Huey in that collection. He is wearing red. It looks like Zorro is whispering in Dumbo's ear.
Here are the Marvel characters. Why was Thor put on the other side? Would you pay $30,000 for this Pez dispenser? Pez has been in the US since 1952 and basically is derived from the German word for peppermint. Pez was round before it was in the brick shape we know today. <laughs> Don't know why Rosie freaked out. She loves bacon and cheese. It would take a lot of licks to get to the center of these Tootsie Roll Pops. Fruit snacks aren't candy, but they are yummy. I think these are chopsticks. Oh, they have a little mouth. Baby mouth! Mm. We hope you enjoyed this episode. What is your favorite kind of candy? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, whack the thumbs up button, take a bite out of the subscribe button to stay up to date with our adventures, and give your friends a sugar high by sharing this video with them. Hit the bell icon to be notified of when videos upload. If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is in the description below. Even a dollar, which is less than the cost of a candy bar, helps. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.